Okay, welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you how to rig a litter basket or a rescue litter for a high angle rescue situation, okay? And what we're gonna do is start out with our long tail interlocking bowlines. Now, if you don't know how to tie these, I've got a video solely on how to tie this. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna assume you know how to do this. Okay, so we're always, in rescue work, we have two lines for redundancy. So if one were to break or get cut, the other one would hold you, okay? But we're gonna start out with that right there. All right, now, for this application, I'm gonna use a commercially made bridle for the litter basket. And this one is made by CMC. You don't have to use CMC. You can uh, use other brands or you can tie your own, which I may make a video on that one day how to tie your own bridle. But we're gonna use a commercially made one and we're gonna capture both of these bowlines right here. Okay, and then we're gonna tighten up this delta link. And something to point out too is whenever we're doing this, uh, we want our bowline small and we want the least amount of distance from the top of this knot to whatever we're lifting because at some point um, these knots are going to hit a change of direction pulley or a high directional at some point and we don't want the basket hanging way far down if we can avoid that. So get the knot small and avoid a bunch of linkages right here if you can avoid it. Okay. All right. So let's move it over to our basket. Now on this rescue ladder, and this is also CMC, um, there are welded eyelets here. So you know exactly where to put your, put your, uh, your loops of your bridle. Um, and again, I may make a video on how to do it without a commercially made one, but um, CMC makes it easy for you. So let's, let's take advantage of that. Now on this particular bridle, we have adjustment buckles. Those go on the outside. Okay. So um, this would not go this way. It's going to go to this side here. So all it is, is it's a loop, an adjustable loop. Okay, so we're going to clip into our adjustable loop. Same thing here. Keep everything nice and straight. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Find our outside buckle so that we know what side to go to. Now, since these are all adjustable, it really doesn't matter if you go to the head or the foot. Um, it doesn't, because it's adjustable. Now, some systems that might matter, but uh, on this one, it doesn't. Okay, so at this point, if I raise this up, uh, we can see how it balances. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so at this point, um, this is the head right here. This is where the feet are. Now the head should always be a little bit higher, but this is too tall. So what we'll do is we'll use our adjustable buckles and get this level. Okay. All right, very good. Now. That's not too bad. We can maybe go up just a little bit higher. And at this point we can Right. 
Okay, so everything's nice and tidy. The carabiners are oriented correctly. And we have the basic foundation of our system. So we got our long tail interlock and bowlands. We have our master point and then we have two tails. Now, the orange rope, remember we have a redundant system. So um, if any point fails in here, there's gonna be a secondary line or rope to catch you, okay? So we're gonna assume there is a patient in here and we will take this orange rope and just tie a simple figure eight on a bite. Okay, now this will go into the harness of our patient. Okay, so there'll be a carabiner here into the harness. Okay, so this orange rope is committed. We got that into our patient and it's done. Okay, now our green line is gonna be for a potential rescuer to be riding this system and he has to hang off of something. So what we can do for that is we can take a and I'll just put a carabiner on the orange to represent that. But we can take something like a pencil ID or this could be a Grigri or a rig or what have you but um, and we can put it onto here. Okay, and then we'll have a... Okay, now this, if I were the rescuer, this would go into my waist. Okay, and I would be hanging off of this rope here. All right. Just like that. Now, we don't want the potential to repel off the end of our line. So at the end of this rope, we are going to tie a just a basic stopper knot. And I'm gonna use a little barrel knot for this one. Okay, that way I can't come off, off of this. All right, now, another, and the reason we have this device, this Petzl ID, and there's other brands out there, it doesn't have to be Petzl, but uh, you wanna be able to move up and down this rope, okay? because as you go down a cliff, up a cliff, or whatever you're uh, a building, what have you, you need to be able to adjust yourself in order to facilitate moving this basket where, where it needs to go, okay? All right, so another, th another thing we can do is this is called an HRA, which is a just a lat rope ladder, okay? We can hang that off the master point, and all it is is a rope ladder, and the rescuer can step into this to help himself adjust onto this rope right here. Okay? All right, now, we talked about redundancy. The patient, first primary point of contact will be in the basket. Secondary will be this orange rope. Okay, so he has two points of contact. The rescuer at this point only has one point of contact. Okay, so if this were to fail, he could potentially fall. So what we can do in that case is have a secondary point. We can put a, a pickoff strap. Uh, actually, let me grab one. And this doesn't have to be tight necessarily. And, but the point is we want, we want a secondary source for the rescuer, okay? So we can make this long starting out. Okay, and then we can clip that in. 
Okay, and here's an adjustable, an adjustable strap that can go into his chest. And this Petzl ID will be into his waist, okay? So there's two points of contact for the rescuer also. And then of course you have the rope ladder. Okay, so let me step back a little bit. Hopefully you can see this. Um, that is your basic system. Um, you have your tube ropes in a double configuration, interlocking bowlands. You have your master point. You have your bridle going to your rescue litter. Okay, off the two tails, one is going to go to your patient for their secondary point of contact. The other rope is going to be used for work positioning for the rescuer, assuming you have a rescuer on your system. You may not. If you can, if you can get by without having one, do that. So life's a lot simpler, but uh, uh, a lot less weight to lift, too. But anyway, that, that's the basic system. And that is a system for high angle rescue. Okay, now let's, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Um, something to give you a little more adjustability in that system. And that is what if the basket's in a horizontal configuration at the moment? What if we need to lift this vertically like this okay uh, it's not common but it might might be necessary and what we can do there is again this is our foot right here we can take a we can take a set of fours and we can take these two legs of this bridle off and substitute it with a set of fours. Okay, so what that would look like is coming into your master point. And let, me, let me flip that around actually. Okay, so that's your, that's the top. And we can take, here's a sewn sling. Create a point down here. Okay, and then take the end of our, let's keep your, let's keep it nice and clean. Okay, we wanna. Okay, now, what we can do is we can take up a little bit of tension, okay? And I think that'll work. Okay, so I got a, I got it in capture mode at the moment. Okay, and what, what we wanna do is raise this up until the tension is off the two blue legs. Um, at this point, we can, we can clip these two guys here. And now, our system is off this set of fours, okay? Now, what this does is it gives us maneuverability to put this in a vertical position. So, take a little tension off. I want to put it in free spool, and then I can lower it. Okay, as I lower it, And you can see the foot will go down. Now, if this weren't hitting the floor and this were high enough in the air, I could get this in a complete vertical position. Okay, so once you get it in the position you want, put it in the lock mode and set it. Okay. So that's another option we can do if we had to maneuver this basket in a horizontal to vertical position. Now the whole time this is happening, the rescuer is gonna be in a vertical position. 
he's not going to move his position at all as far as sideways. He's going to stay exactly where he needs to be. Okay. So if you need to do that, that's how you do it. And if you need to return back to the horizontal and again, this will go all the way to complete vertical. So, but we're going to return it back to the horizontal and it's just a matter of taking up slack until you are back in your position. Okay. Well, all right. I hope that helps. This is how you rig a basket for high angle rescue. Now keep in mind, this is one way of doing things. There are other ways of doing this. If you don't have the fancy equipment and you're limited on manpower and or equipment. So, but this is one good way of doing it. If you have the, the tools to do it. Okay. Hope this helps. I'll see you on the next one.